Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Psalms 27, 8. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. And remember, in the beginning was the Word, and Jesus Christ is the Word. So when you're looking at the red words, you're seeking his face and increasing your faith. So stay in the word and stand on the rock and don't budge. He's coming quickly. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. Last night, I was putting in the final signs in the picture, the Revelation 12 sign that I've been working on, and you're going to be blown away. And God willing, I should have it out by the third super moon of the quadrilogy, the super blue moon. Thursday, at the latest, all glory to our Father. So as I was finishing the billboard, <laughs> praise God, I can't believe that nobody has shown this yet, but his timing is impeccable. It's perfect. It's magnificent. And this is astonishing. There's a comment called 118, Shoemaker Levy, Levi, like the tribe of Levi. And when you look up Levi, Bible meaning, it means joined in harmony. And if you remember, in the picture, in the woman, there's a star called harmony. This biblical name is related to the Hebrew name Levi, meaning joined. And best known for the Hebrew Bible where Levi, the founder of the tribe of Levi, is associated with unity and loyalty. And this whole picture is about the birth because it's about to happen. Levi is the name of Jacob's third son. And there's more, but most of you know it. So let's jump right back into the sign. Because it's magnificent. And again, his timing is perfect. And as you go through the days, you could see comment 118, Levi, moving into the woman, into the box, past the line. As you can see, it's happening right there on the 17th that crosses the line. Now back up to today's date. And you can see that the comet Nishimura comes flying in. Looks like it's going to hit this other comet. But at the last second, remember, it cuts left and comes out straight into and looks like it bounces off of the star Gel. And here's your confirmation of that, biblical confirmation. Jeremiah 23, 15, Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of Gel. Now here's where it gets extremely gigantinormous. And when you search Strong's 118, it's right here at studylight.org. 118, Adalia. I shall be drawn up of Jah, Yah. Transliteration, Adalia. Scroll down. It's right there. I shall be drawn up of God. And I haven't heard anything about this comment. All glory to our Father. Again, his timing is perfect. He showed this to me last night. At the very exact same time that this hurricane storm is approaching Florida, while people are bracing themselves and getting ready for this storm, the convergence is off the charts. This comet 118 is a huge part of the picture, family. It's in the same path as the asteroid child, the star child. And remember, I just got done showing you 811 Wormwood, Revelation chapter 8, verse 11. And the comet Nishimuru, soon as it comes out of the woman, is on a collision course for the star Gel, that means Wormwood, that was also discovered on August 11th, exactly 70 years before Nishimura was discovered on August 11th. 811, Wormwood. Now he's showing us 118. I don't know how he could make it any clearer for anybody. The only reason I'm doing this is for you, family, because he's called me to do it. I already know he's coming. 
And I'll show you something else. When you go back to 811 in the year one, the same picture's there. When the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet, the star child is coming out of the exact same spot. And I've been working on the other picture, the 2023 Revelation 12 sign, but I had a chance to dig in a little bit. And as you can see, Miriam's there, Asap's there, Laban's there, Yeshua's there, Israel's there. The star, star is there. And Jupiter was there too. In the year one, put it together. I think you know what that's saying. And it was on 8-11. And he will not tarry. Hebrews 10, 37. For yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. Habakkuk 2, 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Put this together, family. But at the end, it shall speak. Like the billboard speaking loudly and clearly. And not lie. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And I have to keep it real and bring the truth to the light. So I'll take you to the what they called the Revelation 12 sign in 2017 on September 23rd. And as you can see, that comet 118 was there. And as you can see, Jupiter was already past the line. And they said that Jupiter, whoever said it, was incorrect. They said that Jupiter was in the woman's womb for nine months. And that's not the truth. And I'll show you right now. And before I show you, praise you, Father, for taking something bad and turning it to good because <laughs> if it wasn't for this sign getting exposure of Jupiter being in retrograde in the woman, we would never be watching the woman and see the sign this year. So when you go back to 2016, I'm on 11-11, November 11th, and you zoom in, you can see that Jupiter has not crossed the line yet. And as you go through the days, you can see it's right there. On the 19th, Jupiter still hasn't crossed the line. And when you go to the 20th, November 20th, 2016, that's when Jupiter crossed the line, family. November 20th, 2016. And I don't know if the people that said it was in there for nine months went through the days. Maybe they just went through the months and they didn't see this. That's between them and Jesus Christ. But my job is to preach the truth for the appointed time. And as you go through the days, you could see Jupiter is clearly in the womb or in the box. And, and hold on, let me back that up. Because if Jupiter went into the woman November 20th, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, that's 10 months and three days. That's not nine months, but it gets worse. As you go through the days, you can see Jupiter starts going down the woman towards Spica. And right there, it slows down and starts going back up. Now we're in March, April, May. Now I'll zoom in again. And I'll keep going through the days. And I'll show you <laughs> six months into this pregnant, so called pregnancy, Jupiter comes out of the woman. I'll zoom back out so you can see. Jupiter is out of the box, out of the line, and was only in there for six months. And I'll zoom back in and show you. We have to keep it real. We have to stay 100. Nothing pleases our father more than when his children walk in the truth. And I'm feeling the Holy Spirit. All glory to you, Father. 
And I'll keep going through the days. And you can see Jupiter still isn't in the woman. It doesn't turn around until June. So Jupiter came out of the woman for a month, family. I'll zoom back in and show you what happens. Jupiter finally starts going back in in July on 7-11 actually is when it went in. And then it crosses the line on 9-9. And on 9-23, when they said it was the Revelation 12 sign, that was such a reach and a stretch and so far from the truth, family. That was not in Virgo, what they call Virgo, the woman, for nine months. I just showed you. I just showed you it was 10 months and three days and that six months, the star Jupiter, the wandering star, came out of the woman July 11th. I I'm so in shock that nobody caught that. I didn't get Stellarium until after 2017, so I never looked. I just took it for granted that they were telling the truth. And I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Let the truth be told. That wasn't a Revelation 12 sign. That was a sign to show us the Revelation 12 sign. This one where it started out in the year one <laughs> speaks for itself. All right, family in Jesus Christ, I'll go over a couple more signs before I go. I have to get back to the heavenly billboard and finish it and write the story. Jesus Christ told me, now that you've painted the picture, tell the story. I almost cried. My eyes have just been leaking. And I have everything, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for all the backpacks except for the food. I want to get to Costco after this video and get everything I need and put those together. And thank you, family, for answering the call. And if anyone's led to donate, the link is in the description box. I'm going to try to go hard and hit the streets hard. I think it's going to be one last time. And I want to get as many tents and as much as I can to help the homeless. The tents are very big because in the Bible they're called tabernacles, booths. And it literally is a house for these people. And when you're in the hot sun and you don't have any shade or you're sleeping on the sidewalk at night, it's like if somebody gave you a house. That's how it feels when they get a tent. I've experienced it firsthand, praise you, Father. And God bless you all, everyone that's ever prayed for us, everyone that's ever donated. I just want you to know that your donations are going to the poor. All of it, even me, I don't have any money saved. Praise God, I live by faith and faith alone. Philippians 4.19 And remember, I showed you this asteroid that God showed me. IRAS, and it means watchful. And when I was editing the video, I looked down and seen underneath that there's a comment called IRAS, and that means watchful too. The star, what they call an asteroid, is right by the sun by the woman's face on the revelation on the real revelation 12 sign and remember it means be watchful so i stopped editing and went <laughs> straight to look to see what's going on with this comment and to my surprise on the fake revelation 12 sign it was right there on the sun and no one even spotted it or said anything about it that i heard of all glory to our Father that he's showing us this now in his appointed time, the perfect time, the time to go. So I went through the years because it said be watchful is the meaning. And as you can see, as you go through the years, it just drifts off for six years. And in the seventh year, it's nowhere near the woman. And as you go through the years... You see, it comes back by what they call Leo, the lion. And after a 13-year period in time since it was there last, it goes right back to where it was 13 years ago. The same amount of years that Joseph had to wait to be freed from slavery in prison.
But after 13 years, he became the prince. And to me, it looks like it's pointing out when we come back with the new Jerusalem. And now, remember, it's 126 Iras. And in Strong's Greek, it means everlasting. Like it sets up the everlasting kingdom. And in Hebrew, it's a city near Sodom and Gomorrah. You can't make this up, family. This is all his design, his master design. It's perfect. As you can see, the vision is for a appointed time. And at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And praise our father, I was just talking to a sister, a very intelligent sister, about this comet, Amu Amua. And I'm going to show you, as you can see right there, that's September 23rd, 2017. And if you back up through the days, you can see that this comet was by the woman's head as Jupiter was in her stomach when the so-called 2017 Revelation 12 Stein started to develop. This comet took off and left at light speed. And it goes to what they call Pegasus. And as you can see right there, people are talking about how it plays a part now. Well, as you can see right there, and I'll go through the months, it just bounces back and forth right there. And I'll walk you through the years and show you. This is what happens. And we'll be gone. And we'll be back. With Jesus Christ. 